Okay, I'm going to give it another try. I had a false start there. I beg your pardon for that. So uh, they said that the sound was poor. I sounded like a robot. And you know what? I just don't know enough to say I'm going to fix that now and, and everything will be fine again. But anyway, so here I am. Right here. Uh, there you can see the back of O'Reilly's and the back of uh, Kate Ward's. You can't quite see that now, but my God, they're doing such wonderful uh, work on their new place. So, okay, as I was saying, last week, Hayden sent me a video of his walk in Sparwood, BC, with his little dog, uh, Kai. Cute little dog, big dog, actually. And uh, so I thought, you know what, that's something that everyone could do, not send a video. Now, you don't need to get your cameras, your video cameras out, your tripods, but send a picture of where you are in the world. I'd love to see it. And uh, I will say also, I was saying this earlier, now I had to erase the last uh, video because the sound was poor. Is the sound okay now, I wonder? Uh, anyway, they're building a labyrinth in Barring Park. I thought that will be a lovely spot to find your youngsters. Good luck to you is what I say. Roxanne, how's the sound now, darling? It's hard to believe that uh, a week, a week, and this is what we have, isn't it? Isn't it hard to believe? I got up this morning early because I thought I'll get out before the rain, and it seems to me now that the rain is starting. So anyway, I'm going to crack on now. I was going to get in side by side. I thought that would be a nice treat for everyone. So anyway, I will tell you that uh, this week was a marvelous week. We have wonderful weather, and I mean, you've all been here, of course. You, you know what the weather's like. We don't need to talk about that. But I will tell you uh, that the other day I was talking to a friend of mine, and she said, just saying. Now, it seems to me that is an, an old saying, isn't it? Hi, Hayden. Hayden, thank you. I was just talking about you. You'll have to look back at it. Uh, it seems to me that just saying is an old saying, isn't it? Isn't that about three or four years old? I mean, what are the new sayings now? You know, she said, will my daughter say I'm, I was shook? Is shook a new saying? You know, because I try to keep up. You know, I, I try to... I try to be with the times and, and to make sure I know what's going on. But anyway, to let me know what the new sayings are, will you? I will tell you that I work with elderly during the day uh, for half the week. And I work as a music therapist, and I love this. And uh, the other half of the time, I have my own business. For those of you who don't know, well, you know, of course, that I entertain and that sort of carry on uh, as well as I can. You know, I try to keep going. Uh, but I have a business and it's called Sensible Gear and it's a clothing company. So for anyone who's looking for, you know, because I saw people rowing the other day, if you're looking for a little regatta uniform or any uniform at all, give me a jingle. Look it up. It's sensiblegear.ca or sheilawilliams.ca, any of these, and you'll get me and uh, get a little uh, get a little T-shirt for your your uh team i think it'd be tremendous and it's fantastic anyway that's that's my little infomercial remember years ago the woman who used to tear the uh or try to tear the stockings she said you cannot rip them or tear them or tie them in a knot i forget what it is anyway you remember that so uh anyway i'm gonna leave you now with a story from from the home because, as I was telling you, I, I worked there during the week, and this woman came into the home, and she was young. You know, she was around 77. And, and for me, that's young. Good morning, Mary Ellen. God bless you, darling. Uh, for me, that's young. And so, anyway, I said, you know, Myrtle, why, why did you come in so so early? Because you're obviously very with it. She said, Sheila, honey, I'll tell you what happened now. My husband died. And I said, Oh my God! I said, I'm, I'm sorry about that. She said, No, no, it was a, it was a good thing. And I said, Really? I said, What happened? She said, Well, no, I mean we were happy, you know, after a fashion, uh, you know, as happy as you could be, married someone for sixty years. But she said, Anyway, she said, um, We're married quite young. Anyway, she said he came home one day from the doctor, 
And the doctor told him he had to make his arrangements, you know, that he wasn't uh, long for this world and to go home, and make his arrangements. And so he came home and he said to me, you know, I, I, I want you when I die to take all the money that I've made in my lifetime and put it in a box. Yes. Oh, yes. She said, yeah. And he said, and I want you to put it in the casket with me. She said, what do you mean? And he said, well, no. He said, I, I earned the money. So he said, it's right that it should come with me. And she said, but Francis, you know, I, I've worked my life beside you. You know, it's it's because of me that you were able to make the money. No, he said, no, no, I didn't. I didn't work my lifetime so that you could skip and hop for the rest of it while I'm dead. And so she said, you know, I can't believe that you'd even talk. Look, he said, it's my dying wish. And she said, well, if that's your dying wish, I will give it to you. And anyway, he died. Thank God. And he went over to Carnell's. It was Anglican, I think. And anyway, uh, you know, when the time came to close the casket, Jeff Carnell went to Myrtle and said, uh, you know, Miss Chafe, we're going to have to close the casket now. Is there anything else you'd like to do? And she said, yes, I have this box. And she said, no, I want to put the box in the casket. And he said, oh, yes, yeah. He said, what's in the box? And she said, well, that's the money that uh, Francis made in his lifetime. He said, you can't put that in the casket. He said, you know, because we're going to lock the casket. He said, once that goes in the casket, you know, you can't get back out. And he, she said, no, no, but that was his dying wish. But he said, Miss, Miss Chape, I, I'm not sure if you realize that if you lock the casket and the casket goes in, the money is gone forever. And she said, well, no. She said, what I've done is I've written a check to cover off the full amount. And if he can change that where he's gone, he's more than welcome to the money. <laughs> I thought, well done, Myrtle. Anyway, she was a delightful woman. God bless her. She was at the home for many years after. So listen to me now. Have a great week. Please God, you know we're expecting uh, we're expecting snow tonight, so I thought that was good. It's nice to get a few flurries, uh, you know, in June, June tenth. I thought that'd be nice. Uh, Maureen Haskell, God bless you, darling, for always watching. Anyway, darlings, uh, listen. I hope you have a tremendous uh, week, and uh, you know, I I gotta tell you. I, I know I'm I'm going on a bit long, but I want to tell you I was going to do it, uh, do this uh, walk because this is all going to come to an end soon. Because you know every week it's hard to come up with something to talk about, and I expect that you're exhausted looking at me. So I think this will come to an end soon. But I'll give you a warning about that. But anyway, I was going to do it in the side by side, and I had a little I had a little song <laughs> dying anyway, and I go and sing to you. When I do it in side by side, I'll sing to you. God bless you. Have a great day. Love to you. I hope you have a wonderful week.